G'day everyone. Well, welcome to Wombat Country. I've come back out the Duralong today to do a painting. Beautiful winter morning, nice and crisp. And uh, we will uh, find a spot to paint along uh, the forest edge here. So, um, yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. i uh, seen this here. There's a wombat. Um, little wombat's home here, but I don't, don't want to go too close because they've got mange. And I don't want to bother the poor little fella if he's in there, which I guess he is. So yeah, wombat lives in there, folks. What it is is they've got uh, mange. Wombat, wombats have mange, and basically they're itchy and they're scratching. They got a disease. They poor little things. So I hope that little wombat's all right. And uh, yeah, there's plenty of wombats around this area, but um, yet to see one. But I did see some deer last time. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is have a little look around and uh, see what I can paint. Actually, what I like, right, not so much here, but um, I like it when the water comes through and shines in the bush here over this water, this kind of thing. So I'm going to see if I can find something like this. Okay, like, like this. See how you've got... Well, you look through here and you've got like a little stream. And uh, there's light coming through or maybe, maybe that way. So what I'll do is I'll get my gear, I'll get set up and we'll see what we can paint, what's inviting here as the sun gets a little bit higher. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this view here. But what I'm going to actually do, I'm painting it with these these logs and that in. So it's going to be sort of like that. So that's what I'm painting. Uh, I'll show you guys over here. We've got the motorbike crew down there as well. There's some motorbike guys. Um, so yeah, there's my washing place. So there it is there. I've just washed it in. I'll just let that tack off and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the pellet knife and get my darks in first. And we'll go from that, we'll get the darks in along the creek and that, and um, start to build them up. Okay, so I'm just getting the darkest darks in. Just going to work with the palette knife. Just build them up. I'm not worrying about little bits poking through or anything like that. Just laying it in. I mixed up a... Um, Ultra and Blue, Scarlet Lake, and Burnt Sienna for this. Just building these darks up. Now I'm using the brush. Gonna leave the light parts where the light's gonna come in. It's turning into Pitt Street here. What's going on is uh, there's some firemen doing some training. There's uh, up that way, there's a, an orange farm. There's people going to be coming doing picking. So I thought I was coming somewhere quiet, but it's getting busy all of a sudden. So anyway, I better hurry up and get this painting done. Going to get the lights in now, bring the light in. Using the palette knife, mixed up a, uh, a light phyllo green with yellow ochre and titanium white. I'm not worried about little bits poking through of dark because it will add to the character of the painting. I'm just using a brush now with the Terpsy Dark Mix and I'm just putting shapes and little flicks and that of um, what looks like is uh, shadows of leaves and that. Ok, 
okay, I'm just doing this bit here, and then I'm going to put some highlights, and with a painting like this, you don't have to do too much, as long as you can capture the light coming in, but I'll put the highlights on the gums and that kind of thing, so just building it up here. With the highlights, I just used yellow ochre, titanium white. There you go, all the cars are heading into the, oh, look at the old charger, all the cars are heading into the uh, the orange farm. Just show you guys where I'm at, I'm just about done. Just some final touches here, we're just about done. I'll probably highlight that water there. Okay, done the painting, let's have a look at it. Okay, so there you go, there's the painting. Tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks for coming along, everyone. And I will catch you next one. See ya.